So this video follows on from the last one, but this is about one specific and very small subject, but it's very, very important. Obviously now there's lots of kits available which have 16 inch bass drums. And these bass drums generally, but not all, have steel hoops on them. And steel hoops are too narrow to fit the EAD sensor onto. So if you've got a 16 inch bass drum with a steel hoop, what can you do about it? Well, you've got three different options. The first one is the most expensive, and that is to retrofit your 16 inch bass drum with wooden bass drum hoops, but then you need to add the claws and the longer tension rods and the price soon adds up. And also you might find, because the 16 inch bass drum is different in position to a normal bass drum, is you might have to scallop or take out a section of the bottom hoop just so the bass drum pedal fits without binding against it when you play it. So that's option one. Option two is if you have a Yamaha groove wedge, you can reverse the groove wedge and mount it on top of your bass drum with the lip pointing outwards and mount the EAD sensor on that. That works very well and thank you to Jamie in Australia for the picture of that which you can see now. Then your third option is the cheapest and it's possibly the easiest. What you need to do is you need to get a second steel hoop. You take your original bass drum hoop off and the tension rods out and you put a second steel hoop over the top, use slightly longer tension rods if necessary so it all fits together, tighten it up and then you have enough depth for the EAD sensor to fit on. Now if you're practically minded you can also just get the extra hoop and you can just chop out the section you need just so the second two hoops are only over the top of the bass drum and that works absolutely fine. So if you need to mount the EAD sensor onto a bass drum with steel hoops, it's fine, it works well, and all you need to do to make sure it works properly is do what we did in the last video and adjust your microphones and adjust your trigger levels to work properly, and then everything is fine.